you guys, here we go, index review number one. Now I'm only going to be going over the armies that I do have. So it's the Astra Militarum in this one, and that's it. So, let's go in straight into the Astra Militarum. And this book's laid out quite weird. But, hey, we'll get used to it. It's definitely a lot different to the Codexes. So, straight off, we've got the orders. So we've got take aim, first rank fire, second rank fire, bring it down, forwards for the Emperor, get back in the fight, move, 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 and fix bayonets. Now take aim, re -roll rolls of what uh, to hit rolls of one for all models in the ordered unit until the end of the phase. That could quite be handy. Uh, first rank fire, second rank fire, rapid fire two, same again, bring it down, re-roll, rolls of one for all the models in the ordered unit until the end of the phase for wounds. That will come in very handy, I'll explain that in a minute. Forwards for the Emperor, shoot after it's advanced, so after it's run, basically. Back in the fight... If the unit fell back in its movement phase, it could still shoot. That could be very handy. Move, move, move. Uh, instead of shooting this phase, the ordered unit immediately moves as if it were movement in the movement phase. It must advance as part of its move and cannot declare a charge. So basically you're moving, then you charge in both at the same time, and then you move in again. But you can't charge. Uh, can't really see that being used that much. Fixed bayonets. Uh, this ordered can be used to units that are within one inch of an enemy unit, so basically in combat. The ordered unit immediately fights as if they're in the fight phase. So basically, it fights twice in a turn once in the psychic phase, once in the fight phase, if it's in close combat. Mm, that means if they don't really want to back out of the fight so other people can shoot them, then that unit will get to fire, fight twice. That could be handy. Especially with the commissar behind them. I'll explain that in a bit as well. Now, the uh, Codex Astra Militarum for these guys has completely changed. Completely. So, company commander. A company commander is a single model armed with a LAS pistol, chainsaw, and frag grenades. So, he's not part of a command squad anymore. He's on his own. And he's a character as well. So, that changes a hell of a lot of stuff. And company commander isn't mixed in with a load of infantry that can take the wounds before him not anymore but then he's under the uh, wounds he's got four wounds four wounds for a human that's amazing I'd expect them to have like two wounds or three but four that's amazing and as a bonus because he's got the chain sword upgrade instead of having three attacks he actually has four Make one additional attack with this weapon. So he actually has four attacks. That's quite cool. And obviously senior officer, so you can order two orders at a turn. Uh, tank commander, hardly ever use tank commander. Master of Ordnance. Now this changed big time as well. It's not part of the HQ attachment anymore. It's an elite. Yes, it is an elite choice. And he's a character, so he's a single model with a las pistol. That's it. I'm not too keen on the Master of Ordnance, the Officer of Fleet, anymore because of this. So artillery barrage, Stre range 100, heavy D6, strength 8, not 9 anymore. AP minus 2 damage D3 this weapon can only be fired once per battle 
yeah you can't fire every turn anymore you can only fire once per battle when doing so subtract one from the hit rolls uh, this weapon can target units that are not visible yeah yeah subtract one you may only use the artillery bars once per turn regardless of how many master of ordinances you want so if you want to fire every turn then you have to have a separate master of ordnance because once he's fired he's useless that seems like a massive waste of points because you have to have multiple master of ordinances to be able to use more than one in a game so i can't see that using anymore platoon commander single model again and he's not hq he's an elite so the platoon commander is now taking up an elite slot instead of a hq slot this is this has changed massively he's only he's only got one order voice of command he's got three wounds instead of one He's got three attacks instead of two, four if he's got a chain sword. Yeah, this changed immensely. And that's, that's the usual HQ selection, but it's not anymore. Command squad. That's an elite's choice. And I don't know why, but I can see people using a command squad or as spam because of the medic pack now they're going to be cheap on points because there's only four models in the unit that's it and it's not got the commander in there anymore so you're paying for your four models and then the medic pack and the medic pack a model with a medipack can attempt to heal a single model to select friendly Astra Militarum units within 3 inches. So any infantry unit within 3 inches, no not even infantry, just a friendly Astra Militarum. Oh yes it is infantry, yeah. Within three inches, roll of d6 and roll of four plus one model recovers a wound it lost early in the battle. Yep, that's far enough, that's where it was. If the wound characteristic was one and the model was slain earlier in the battle, it is returned instead. So you, we have now have RP. We now have the Necron's RP. We can return models back to the field with a medic. That's awesome. You fill up your elite section with a medic and then you get multiple elites of uh, com command squads, get multiple mo command squads, keep them behind your units that are in close combat. You could keep that bloody combat going for ages, just spawning more guys back. You only have to go through three turns be able to make the points back for the uh, medic because it's only 10 points I believe but um, yeah three turns that's amazing that's a decent elite select section that's gone better right now infantry squads this is the only infantry we have so it's all basic bare bones standards it's all exactly the same as it used to be pretty much. Uh, special weapon squad is now an elite section. Six guardsmen, three models have to, to go for special weapons. Can't really see that being used that much. Heavy weapon squad are now part of the heavy support. Yes, they're not infantry anymore either. So that's changed immensely as well. But I can see a lot more of these guys coming to the field. Heavy support teams. Yeah, Laz Cannon spam. Veterans are now elites, not infantry. 
This is what I mean. We've only got one infantry now. But they can get ballistic skill three. Otherwise, it's all pretty much the same. Conscripts. Yeah, that one. That one you want to upgrade to 30 mo models, uh, 50 models in a unit. Charge them into combat with a commissar nearby. Yeah, they're going to stick around. Uh, Rough Riders, now fast attack. Sent Scout Sentinels, still fast attack. Armoured Sentinels are still fast attack. Uh, I think they're the same points wise. Everything is pretty much the same on them. Only they have six wounds. That's not too bad. Uh, Chimera, Torox, don't really use them. Hellhound, Basilisks, don't really use them. Hydra, Wyverns, don't use them. Deathstrike, Manticore. And this goes back to the old debate which one is better? So, Deathstrike Missile. It's still roller. There you go. This weapon can only be fired once per battle. Blah, blah, blah. After the zone damage, roll D6 for every other unit within 6 inches of the target unit. On a roll of 4 plus, that will unit also suffers d3 mortal wounds so within six inches it's not an apocalyptic bra so it doesn't cover as much ground but heavy 3d6 and if you get a nice group of units within six inches of each other they suffer mortal wounds that is dangerous that is very dangerous the arrow was nigh it's exactly the same as it used to be Death strike cannot be fired as normal. Shooting phase over Overwatch. Blah blah blah. All friendly units. If you wish to fire the death strike missile, roll a d6. Add the battle round number. If the result is eight or more, you can fire the death strike missile. So you still can't fire in first turn. Yeah, first turn. So it's six plus one, seven. Round two. You'd have to roll a six, round three, roll a five, round four. Yeah, you get it. And then we get the Manticore. These are my Hellfire droids. Eleven wounds. The Storm Eagle, heavy, two d six, strength ten, AP minus two, d three wounds. Ouch! That is gnarly. Heavy 2d6, you get four shots with this, so you roll a double six, you're causing, and obviously strength 10, you're going to get most of the wounds, so that's 12 times d3 for each of them. That's a hell of a lot of saves, they ain't going to save that much with a minus two modifier. That is gnarly. Only one unit, you can't spread the damage across multiple units because blast templates aren't there anymore. But you get a monstrous creature, heavy 2d6, with d3 damage and minus 2 modifier. You're going to bring down monstrous creatures like every single turn. Four turns, four shots. That is nasty. I. Don't know why, but I can pretty much say the Manticore has got a hell of a lot better than the Death Strike now. And then we turn over again. Uh, battle tanks, demolishers, Bane Blade, Bane Hammer, Bane Sword, Doom Hammer, Hell Hammer, Shadow Sword. Yeah, all the super heavies are in here. Storm Lord, Swarm, Storm Sword. Then we get Cajun Shock Troops, Lord Castellan Creed. Pretty much exactly the same. You get two more command points added to your list and can order three orders. Hmm. He is a HQ slot. Sergeant Kell, the guy who actually died, yeah, he died, is still alive. So Creed's locked up in a vault. Kell is dead, but we can still use him. That makes no sense. But it's not your maggots. You make one order friendly as from 
officer with a six inch surgical kill. One additional order for an officer within six inches. So it's technically Creed within six inches of Kel will actually have four orders. Still doesn't seem worth it though. And it's taken up another elite set, uh, slot. Swarm protector on two plus. Sergeant Kel suffers the wound within three inches of Sergeant of Creed. Mm, makes Creed last longer. Okay, moving on. Pask, I don't really use. Strachan, Sergeant Harker, I don't really use either of them. Ah, now, Commissars. Here we go. Yes, someone's going to be happy because Commissar Yarek is a HQ again. You can actually use him as your commander. That's pretty cool. Lord Commissar is now a HQ again. Regular Commissars are elites. So the elite section is being filled up very, very quickly. Very quickly for the Imperial Guard. But you are going to want Commissars. Aura of Discipline. All Astromilitarium units within 6 inches of the com Commissar can use the Commissar's leadership instead of their own. Leadership 8, mind you. So, don't really make a whole lot of difference. But we will with Conscripts. Leadership 9 for the Lord Commissar. Leadership 9 for Yarrick. So, they've dropped from 10. They're not 10 anymore, they're now 9. But then it's the summary execution that you want, not the aura of discipline. Friendly astromid term units within six inches of the commissar can never lose more than one model as a result of any single failed morale tests. You get them conscripts built up, charge in, hold back multiple enemy targets using the orders from your officer to uh, fight twice in combat so you fight in your psychic phase then you fight in your regular phase you use your commissar to up their leadership to eight instead of five and then because they're conscripts they're going to die you're going to lose like 11 12 models at a turn but you don't actually lose when you can't sort that out on the morale test because now in 8th edition if you fail a morale test you lose the excess number in models so instead of running away you just lose the models, they're dead or well, they're not dead, they're, they're the ones that run away but instead you only lose one model that's cool that is excellent that is, you can keep your models in the fight and not actually run away from morale tests anymore only one that's basically the one that turned around first and got shot in the head all the rest of them just kept fighting like, I'm not going to get shot <laughs> alright uh, Astra Militarum Tempestus Prime is now a character and he's a HQ choice so he's now a single model on the table as well Aerial drop, he has deep strike by himself. Command rod. Uh, voice of command twice, so he gets two orders. Tempestus command squad, four models in the unit. Elite choice, yes, we're filling up that elite selection again. But you do have the medic, so these guys, the Tempestus. Skions and the Prime and the Command Squad, you want the medic in, you definitely want them in because you want, want to keep these guys around. So spam that medic. Tempestus Skions, Infantry Squad. We actually have infantry instead of elite. That's cool, so we do have more infantry. Um, there's only four. Four Skions and one Sergeant. 
left. So one storm troop, uh, one sergeant, and four stormtroopers in the old ways. Uh, they all have deep strike, so they have to uh, more than nine inches away. Well, that's fine because we we're not going to want to charge into combat, not with these guys. So more than nine inches away, stay distant, so they have to have a bit of a charge range to get to you, and just stay in shooting range. You can cover an entire new corner with that corner of the battlefield. Torx Prime, no, not getting that. Militarum Auxilia. Ogreens, don't use. Bogreens, don't use. Nork, Dead Dog, yes, we have the rules for him again, but we don't, I don't use him. They're all elites. And another elite, the Rattlings. <coughs> These guys have always been awesome, but now they're better. It's not a minimum model count of three, it's a minimum model count of five now. Uh, sniper rifle, so you can specifically target characters behind the enemy infantry. You don't have to fire at the closest target. That's excellent for five shots at ballistic skill three up, so you're hitting on threes. Difference being, it's not strength X anymore, it's strength four. So it's going to be harder to wound. Abilities find the best spot you can deploy up to 18 inches away but these guys you're going to want to keep them far back far far back shoot sharp and scarpa they can move advance uh, uh, immediately after the making a shooting attack this unit can move as if it was in the movement phase so you move them out of cover uh, shoot and then you move them back there's no rolling for it anymore for run moves or anything. You just move them straight six inches straight back into the, the ruins hidden away. That's excellent. Naturally stealthy, they get a two up bonus saving benefit instead of a one for cover. So their save goes from five to three. That's cool. But still, again, it's an elite section. Right, Aeronautica. Officer of the Fleet is part of the Elite section again. Yep, and he's a character, so he's a single model. Once per battle in your shooting phase for air, requa air raid requested, you can pick an enemy unit other than a character. So basically, it's another Master of Ordnance, only it's an automatic and the roll of four. Or five, four to five, the unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. And roll of the six, the unit suffers three mortal wounds. Can only be used once per turn. So the officer of the fleet is now the master of ordnance. Master of ordnance can only fire once. This Hold on a second. Once per battle, the shooting phase. Okay. But then it says down the bottom, you may only call what in one air raid per turn. Ah, regardless of how many officers of the fleet, so you, it's the same again. It's absolutely useless. You can only fight once in the battle. You have to have multiple officers of the fleet. Waste of points. Now this has changed immensely. The Valkyrie. Valkyrie is now having its own air detachment, so wings, whatever you want to call it, flyer. It's 14 wounds. That's cool. Um, difficult to hit, so subtract one from enemy shooting attacks. Airborne, so it has fly, vehicle squadron, grab shoot, hover jet, crash and burn. Yes. But that's not why it's changed immensely. It's changed immensely because that's the end of the list. What are we missing? My Imperial Shuttle isn't a Valkyrie. It's a Vendetta. Why did Games Workshop leave it blank? The Valkyrie is a Vendetta. 
you just need to be able to purchase three las cannons it's exactly the same model all you have to do is make it so you can buy six las cannons it's no it's not right where is the vendor i'm not happy adeptus mechanicus skip through all of this lot because near the back ish where is it inquisitorial there we go adeptus astartes to telepathica army list so yes you have to skip through skip past all the other armies to get to your psychers yeah, that's a bit of a weird setup, but hey. Psychic powers, terrifying visions. This warp top is a value of seven. If manifested, choose an enemy unit within 18 inches of the psych up, subtract two from its leadership. So you could basically subtract two from a space marine unit attacking in close combat with your conscripts and um, subtract two from their leadership so if they lose any models from all them attacks they've also lost two more in the morale phase that's quite cool gaze of the emperor it's basically a laser beam that comes out of his hand or whatever it has to be a straight line I can't see that being used too much psychic barrier now this is awesome warp charge value of six if manifested Select any friendly mini Astra Militarum unit within 12 inches of the Psyker unit at the start of your next Psychic phase. Add 1 to its saving throw. That's awesome. So automatically everything within 12 inches of your primary Psyker has got plus 1 to its armor save. So if you've got Skions, they've now got 3 up save. They're Space Marines. How cool is that? If you've got regular guys, everything within 12 inches has got a 4 up save. And because the Primus Psyker is Imperium as well as Astra Militarum and all this other, you can use him in Space Marines if you select your entire army to be Imperium based that's a whole lot of two up saves that is ridiculous that order that psychic power has just gone absolutely ridiculous there's going to be a lot of spam for that people are going to be doing that all over the place in all sorts of tournaments Add one to the unit's saving throws. Does that in... Oh, I wonder if that includes... Hmm... Invulnerable saves. Because it's still a saving throw, it's just an invulnerable saving throw. So do they add one to their invulnerable save as well? Damn! That is a hell of a way to get your guys living for a long time. Only mortal wounds would be able to take out because invulnerable saves don't make no difference with mortal wounds. Yeah, okay. So Psy primary psychers are now one of the best psychers in the game. <laughs> right, go okay, moving on. Wyvern psychers don't really use. Astropath I used to use. Uh, you get one psychic power of your choice telepathic assault that will actually make it extremely cheap for that one well, it's only these ships six though so they oh that's not going to be used that much but that is all of the Astra Militarum yeah I've got to say, 
damn have the asthma of time got ridiculously cheap and good I mean las guns because of the rules in 8th edition can now do damage to anything anything doesn't matter how tough it is las guns still wound on a 6 <laughs> ouch in 7th edition that's classed as rending but they still get their arm saves that's a hell of a lot of shots from a 50 conscripts conscripts are now the job okay guys that is my review on the index imperium 2 for the astra militarum yeah combos yes let's go into combos that we've already figured out okay so 50 conscripts with a commissar they're not running away for nothing that order to re-roll wounds if you're shooting at a tough unit and need sixes so say the wraith knight you got 50 shots times two in close combat uh, not in close combat in um, half range for rapid fire that's a hundred shots 100 shots most of them are going to go through you put the order on to re-roll ones to wound you're re-rolling all them ones from all your hits and all the sixes are hitting and wounding that's a hell of a lot of damage las guns are dangerous you can bring down a tank with a, a single squad nowadays it, it, it's done <laughs> it's good right Yep, I am happy. I am very happy. I'm upset about the Vendetta. Uh, there is the rules out for a Vendetta now. And the cost, the points cost of what I've discovered is they are very expensive. A Vendetta is expensive. About six twin link, six Las Cannons. Because Twin Linked is now two shots. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's very good. But you have to get get the data sheets from Forge World. GW don't give you the data sheets anymore. Right. Okay, that's Astro Militar. I'm done. On the next edition, we'll go for another one of my armies. Take it easy, guys. Good gaming.